you know, if you have an actor on stage and you see him doing, showing emotions or being creative, it's not true. But then you believe that it's true because that's part of the game with the theater. It's the same thing with robots. So I got stuck with my painting when I was in my 30s. Everything I draw look um, emotionless. Uh, I was too self-conscious, I think. And then I started to build a machine to, to replace myself, for them to do better work that I could do uh, by hand. And because I had studied computing, it made sense to use computers. I started to use robots because it made sense to make a drawing, to have an arm that goes over the paper, and have the pen moving and making marks. Now that I've been drawn for many times, like I'm kind of getting used to the idea, but at the beginning uh, it was a very unique, strange experience. You are aware that it's a robotic arm and it's a camera, and then the sounds as well, like, like when they all kind of raise the cameras and you're like, what? <laughs> The way uh, I program the robots, they have different styles, but the st it's exactly the same software. And I only change something about uh, the nervosity of the arm and something just after the camera. And if you change the camera, they have different styles. Just because it's the idea that if you teach the same thing to a class of students, they will draw in a different manner. If there's a really chaotic line or something, and at the same time you can recognize me, I'm like, oh, that's, I really like that. And then there's sometimes it tries to be really realistic. Or then yesterday, like we were testing, and then I had like huge lips, and I was like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> I'm still the author of the drawings, so it's it's more like if it's a different type of brush or a little different type of pencil. The thing is that it's remote, so I delegate, and also I, I kind of lose control of the thing. I just tell it, oh, do your own thing. But it's still my drawing. Uh, I still, if I sell them, I sign at the back. The thing is that it's a business to do art also. So you have to sell things. And people would not sell things made also by a robot. But if it's made by a human, it's more likely to be sold. So they're sold because it's Patrick Tracet's work. I think people need the, the personality, and my personality is still in the drawing, you know, they, they, because I have this criteria when I work on them, like at the moment, uh, I work on them until I'm pleased with the result. Uh, so after they do what they want, uh, the robot, but I still, uh, I have to be pleased with the drawing, so they're still mine, because it's my criteria. Science and technology are just a, a tool for me to achieve what I want to do artistically. And it's quite good because there are, not, there are a lot of painters, but there are not that many people who do things with robots, so it attracts attention.